The Linear Face EQ plugin was designed for precise equalization without any phase shifting. It is a real-time process with the Wave Signature paragraphic interface found in Q10 and Renaissance EQ. When using standard analog and digital equalizers, we assume that when we are adjusting the gain of a particular band of frequencies, that all other frequencies remain unchanged. The levels of different frequencies are linear, but the phase relationships are not. It takes a highly trained ear to hear this phase distortion, and it usually is described in the higher frequencies as smearing. This is that the complex frequency content of transient sounds are affected by different amounts of delay or phase shift, and they seem to lose their sharpness and clarity. Waves created the linear phase EQ by delaying all frequency bands equally, therefore eliminating the phase shift between bands. This resulted in a much more pure sounding EQ. I generally use it for my mastering projects as a very precise program equalizer. Let's check out the controls of the main broadband component. There are six phase linear EQ bands for tweaking pleasure. The first band labeled LF is low frequency band ranging from 22 Hz to 1 kHz with single Hz resolution. The other five operate in the frequency band from 258 Hz to nearly 22 kHz with 87 Hz resolution suited for high frequencies. The five main bands have a smooth operation of sweeping the frequency, gain, and Q and hearing instant results. Due to intense computation, the low frequency band requires you to release the mouse each time or enter a value to hear the changes. The cursor arrows work well here for very fine tuning of low frequencies. Each band has a control for gain, frequency, bandwidth, filter type, and on-off button. The low frequency filter types are different from the other five. It offers bell, low shelf, high shelf, low pass, and high pass filters. The main five bands have bell, resonant low shelf, V-slope low shelf, resonant high shelf, V-slope high shelf, resonant high pass, V-slope high pass, resonant low pass, and V-slope low pass. You can also control the gain by the markers in the frequency graph window by clicking and dragging up or down. Dragging left or right changes the frequency value. Holding Option or Alt and dragging left or right controls the bandwidth. Double clicking on the marker turns the band on or off. You can click and drag around multiple markers to link your band's processing. Also, try highlighting several fields and linking them that way too. The output fader allows the reduction of overall plug-in volume. This is necessary when you intend to apply liberal EQ with strong peaks to the signal. Lower the gain fader to create the headroom you need for processing. The trim button automatically trims the specified margin between digital zero and the peak audio signal. If you see the clip indicators light up, click the trim button to lower the output of the appropriate level before a similar reoccurring peak exceeds digital zero. The peak and hold output meters display a visual representation of audio level strength. Click anywhere to reset the peak hold fields. The method mode button selects between three methods, normal, accurate, and low ripple. In most applications when we are boosting or cutting a signal plus or minus 12 dB, normal mode should be used. When we are using extreme settings, then we may want to consider the low ripple and accurate settings. These are slightly beyond the scope of this tutorial, but are covered in detail in Chapter 3 of the PDF User Guide. Toggle between them to use what sounds best. That is really the best way to use any plugin or processing. The Dither button can be selected as on or off. The double precision 48-bit processing doesn't cause quantization errors, but the process of rounding back to 24-bit resolution at the output of the plugin may. Using requantizing noise shaping can restore low-level detail at the expense of some very slight hiss. Without the dither, there may be low-level quantization distortion, but it also is hard to hear and should be at the discretion of the engineer. Let's process a track to become more familiar with the controls.
Linear Phase EQ is a powerful EQ with precision control and pristine sound quality without phase distortion found in typical EQs. Make sure to check out the movie tutorials for Q10 and Renaissance EQ in the CSI environment.